Hello students, welcome to my channel Maths Hub and we welcome you to the next video on lattice. So in my last video I talked about the definition of lattice and we worked upon very examples, few examples where some posets were given and we were trying to check whether it were lattice or not. So in this video I will be talking about a sub lattice, right? Now let's come to the definition of a sub lattice. Now anything if I talk about a subset, subset means a part of a set, right? So whenever the word sub is added to anything, it means a part of that thing which acts itself like that. So when I talk about the subset, it means a part of a set which acts as a subset. So now when I'm talking about the sub lattice, sub lattice means it is a part of a lattice which will act as a sub lattice, right? So let's come to the technical definition of a sub lattice. Let L with less than equal to be a lattice. A non-empty subset S of L is called a sub-lattice of L if S itself is a lattice under the operations of join and meet. That means when we were checking for a lattice, we checked that every pair of elements should have a least upper bound and a greatest lower bound. So whatever subset is given to us to check whether it is a sub-lattice or not, we will check that all the pair of elements in that subset particularly should have a least upper bound and a greatest lower bound, right? So this is the definition of sub lattice and now let's see some exercises where we'll be checking that will the given subsets be acting as sub lattice or not. So the working method is same like we did for lattice. So this is the first question. We are given a lattice. So this poset is acting as a lattice. And we need to check whether the following subsets are sub lattice or not. So the first subset that is given to us is L1. And the elements in that subset are X, A, Y and B. So how to check whether it is a sub lattice or not? It's the same like we did for lattice. We will prepare the join table first, right? To prepare the join table, let's make the join operation table. So we will write the elements X, A, Y and B in the rows as well as in the column, right? So this is the join table. So it is mandatory that you should put the symbol over here. Otherwise, it is not understood that which table you are talking about. So now after writing the elements in the rows and columns, let's complete the entries. X join X. It is the same element X. X join A. Now X and A, the join is the first element in the upper direction, the first point of contact, it is A. When you talk about X join Y, it is the element Y. X join B, the first point of contact is the element B. So let's fill up the elements over here. X, A, Y and B. Next, A join A, that is A. A join Y, A is here and Y is here. So when you join A with Y, the join is Y. Then is A join B. A and B are here. So A join B is equal to C. Right? So we fill the elements over here. Y and C. Then the next element is Y join Y. Y join Y is Y. Y join B. This is Y and this is B. So when you join them, Y and B will become Y. So this is again Y here. And B join B is B. Right? Now we need to check that whatever elements we are getting in this join table, they should all belong to L1, right? But unfortunately, you can see the element C present over here. C doesn't belong to L1. So that means we can say that A join B is equal to C, but it does not belong to L1. And so can we say that L1 is a sub lattice? The join table is not satisfied. So we will say that L1 is not a sub lattice, right? If all the elements belong to L1, then we will move on to the meet table and we will complete the meet table and we'll just check the same thing that do all the elements belong to L1. If that was okay, then we will declare that L1 is a sub lattice, right? So now let's work upon the second example and let's see that whether it is a sub lattice or not. So the second subset that is given to us is now X, A, C and Y. So now let's first of all prepare the same lattices given to us. So let's prepare the join table. 
So we have the elements X, A, C and Y in the first row. And we have the elements in the column also. So we have X, A, C and Y. And this is our join table. So let's calculate what is X join X. It is X. X join A, that is A. X join C, that is C. X join Y, that is Y. So we complete the entries in the first column. The same entries will be put over here. Then is A join A. A join A is A. A join C is C. A join Y is Y. Then complete the table over here. Then we have C join C, that is C. C join Y, what is C join Y? It is Y. This is also Y here. And we have Y join Y, that is also Y. Now check all the elements that we are getting in L2. Are they all belonging to L2? Yes. So our join table is perfectly fine. Right. So now let's prepare the meet table. So the same thing, we will write the entries in the rows as well as in the columns. So this is our first row and we prepare the columns accordingly. This is X, A, C and Y. And this is our meet table now. Right. So X meet X. It is X. X meet A. That is X again. X meet C is X again. X meet Y is X again. So I hope you remember how to calculate the meet. Meet means the first point of contact in the downward direction. So let's complete the entries over here. X and X. Now A meet A. That is A. A meet C. A meet C is A again. A meet Y is again A. So we complete A entries A here. Then C meet C is C. C meet Y is C. This is also C. And Y meet Y is Y. Right? Again, look for all the elements that we are getting inside this meet table. They all belong to L2. Right? So, can we now say that L2 is a sub lattice? Yes. Because L2 is acting as a lattice and every pair of elements has a GLP and a L8. So, it is a sub. Right? So I hope these two examples are clear to everybody. So let's move on to the third example. So the third subset given to us is L3. And the elements in this are now X, C, D and Y. So now let's prepare the joint table first. So we have X, C, D, Y. And let's write down the elements over here. X, C, D and Y. And this is the join table, right? So X join X is X. X join C is C. X join D is D. X join Y is Y. So we have here C, D and Y. C join C is C. C join D. It is Y. C join Y is Y. So we write down Y and Y over here. D join D is D. D join Y is Y. Y again here and Y again here. Right? Now again, look out the entries that we are getting in this table. Do all of them belong to this set? Yes. So the join table is perfectly fine. Right? Now let's prepare the meet table. Let's put in the entries over here. X, C, D and Y. Similarly, we have X, C, D and Y. And let's put the symbol of meet over here now. X meet X is X. X meet C is X again. X meet D is X. X meet Y is X. Right? Similarly, we put down the elements in the first column, same as the first row. Then C meet C is C, C meet D is A, C meet Y is C. So we write down the entries over here, A and C. D meet D is D, D meet Y is 
D, again D here, and Y meet Y is Y, right? Now again, search for the elements now. And now what do you think? Are all the elements belonging to L3? No, you can clearly see that we have two elements which are not belonging to L3. So we can say that C meet D is equal to A, which does not belong to L3. So can we declare L3 as a sublattice? No, L3 is not a sublattice. Right? So I hope with these three definitions, with these three examples, you are able to follow how to check for a sublattice. And I leave the fourth example for you as an exercise. So do do it as an exercise and please write to me in the comment box that if you are able to follow it. And if there is any doubt, let me know. I'll reply there. Right? So you'll get the answer that it is a sublattice. How it is a sublattice? You need to fill up the gaps. You need to make the join and the meet table and you need to see whether it is a sublattice or not. Right? So that's all with this video. Thank you so much. And do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And please do comment so that I get to know how to improve my videos. So believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed. Thank you so much.